Hey, what's up everybody? So today we have ourselves a big oak removal that I was gonna do something kind of special with when we get got to the wood, but I think I'm probably only gonna be here for the brush on this tree, and so I think we're gonna film it uh, just like a regular video and just, just take you along for the ride kind of thing. But there's a lot of GRCS action on this one. It's been pretty fun, couple couple little scary ones, and I think there'll be some more of those, but uh, nothing that'll exceed capacity on things. It's this pin oak right here. It's it's way bigger than it looks on camera, I promise. But uh, we've got a lot of the stuff off of this lead right here already. Uh, it's about noon now, and uh, we're just about to get back up in the tree and and get back to working on it. So I thought it was you know turned out to be a pretty fun tree, so I grabbed the camera and was gonna try and take you along for the ride. Um, we are running the chipper a lot on this job, so I don't know how much talking I'll be able to do. But if nothing else, you'll at least be able to see how things go. I'll be ready in one second. He's not moving at all. Look, Bo. Look, he's not moving. I guess we got to put another quarter in. <laughs> you stick that somewhere. Okay, I'm ready to take my after lunch ride up on the GRCS. Someone's hacking along in the background. Go up. Oh, stop. I got tangled. Okay, keep going. And stop. Okay, if you can let this slack or let me down slowly onto my rope, that'd be great. Perfect. Well done. You can take all that wrappage off of there so I can pull the line up a little bit. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this entire limb right here. He's probably 40 plus feet long, but we're gonna tie our rope just above the balance point, we're going to use the GRCS to stand it up, and then I'll cut it the rest of the way off, and then we'll lower it down. And it should be pretty, pretty nice and gentle. Pretty good experience. Also, if you could help us settle a debate, if you could, anybody in the comments could tell us what these are. I have one. I was told they were one thing, and Bo was told they were another thing. So I'm interested in anybody else's opinion. Got a stick coming down, or not. Another stick coming down. Another stick coming down. Another stick coming down. Another stick coming down. Now when we tie our rope on to a pick like this, it's super important, especially when we're high up in the tree, that we don't tie it on 
at an elevation that will put um, that'll put the tie on point higher than the rigging when the piece folds up. We want to make sure it, when it folds up there's still room between this knot and the rigging block over there so that way it can still lift and it's not uh, not going to yank on the rope when we cut it off of the hinge or something like that. We also have to make sure that we are indeed out far enough on the limb and we're not going to run the risk of the piece flipping over on us. Now this brush is going to collide but that will be okay for this scenario. It's not always okay and so it's something you have to look out for. Man, we're real close as far as bounce point stuff goes. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. That should work just fine for us there. Now we'll go down there and cut that off. Okay, go ahead and pre-tension. That's good. Okay, now something we do have to worry about a little bit on this particular rig is this tree has some lean this direction. And so what that means is that as this lifts and as our hinge down here gets, you know, gets stressed because we're bending the wood fibers, this, it could tear out and fall off the stub and, and do some dynamic loading. Um, so we want to try to avoid that. That brush getting tangled up up there will actually help us a little bit in that way. Um, we'll see how it goes. It could end up hurting us a little bit. It's pretty close. But it's important to pre-tension so that way when you make this notch and you make a cur you know, you cut your back cut on the notch that it doesn't sit down on your saw. So, but I'm going to go ahead and make my face cut. important when you're making this face cut that you aim it the same direction as the rope. You don't want that rope to be pulling across the hinge fibers in some way, making them stressed out a little bit more and more likely to fail sooner. And that is a terrible back cut. It's too low. It'll serve us for now. But what we'll do now is we'll get out of the way. We'll have Bo start cranking on that DRCS with the drill down there. And then once the piece is ready to be cut off, we'll go back and cut it off. Okay, Bo, we're ready. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay, that's good. Now, since we collided that brush up there, you might have seen some debris raining down. That is something you need to take into account if you can you know, tolerate that on the job you're on. We can, because it's over unsensitive space. Now, because that brush is also pulled together, there's a good chance that this butt is gonna want to jump over once we cut it off. So, need to be aware of that before we cut it off. 
Yeah, go ahead and put yourself into position to lower this piece. That way, if there is any dynamic loading, you can kind of soften the blow a little bit down there, Bo. Okay, Bo's ready, so we're going to go and cut it off. Okay, well she did come around a little bit, that's what we get for having that rush in there. <coughs> no, don't go down yet. Let me see if I can push it out before we go down. Yeah, come down a little bit. See if it'll come out of that brush up there and I can guide it at least. Keep coming. And stop. I might have to have you send up a tagline to pull on it with. Alright, go ahead and give that a pull there, Al. You'll probably have to pull pretty hard. Yeah, let me push off at the same time. Oh, slowly, please. Are you pulling that at all, Al? Okay. Oh, here. go slow here, Bo. Oh, come on. Yeah. Don't get it down past that second level or we'll be in uh-oh-ville. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in uh-oh-ville. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, now it's caught on that branch. Can you go back up, Bo? Oh, Al might get it. There we go. Nice. Slow down there, Bo. Let, let Al keep up with you and keep tension in his tagline. That branch is going to hit the ground before, or before it gets past me all the way. Well, if you do that, you're going to have to get out far enough that you can set it down below this other branch. Okay. That's okay, I didn't, didn't tear up the grass. And there you go, that's how you rig a 50 foot limb out of a tree. Ta-da! So we're gonna bring the top out of it.
Evo. Hey guys, so I forgot to film an outro for this thing. I got so wrapped up in finishing the tree that I, I just forgot it. So I'll try to wrap it up for you here real quick. What happened is we spent two days on the tree. Um, we rigged all the brush down and then we rigged a little bit of the remaining brush and then the wood down on the second day. And you can actually see some of that um, in the Mega Ring Meltdown video, which I'll have a link to floating around here somewhere in a moment. I also forgot in that video to thank Endor's Arborist and Rope Supply. They actually donated the ring and the sling for that video, which I am super appreciative of because that's expensive stuff and it's not stuff that I can, you know, just buy just for one video. And it's also not something I don't think I use it regularly. We'll see, time will tell. Um, that ring will show up in some more videos later in the season. We're gonna do some more stuff to it and see just how hot we can get it. But I just really appreciate that they were able to donate that for us and, uh, you know, let me let me experiment with it. Uh, a link to their website is in the description below. They're super nice folks. You give them a call. They can help you with stuff. They make rings, slings. They make other slings. They make all sorts of stuff. Um, so go ahead and give them a try if you need something. But uh, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you don't want to make a commitment like that, you can always hit that like button. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.